It's November 1st, and that means the new Spellbinders Kit Clubs are available. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel. In today's video, I'll be sharing Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month, Die of the Month, and Glimmer Kit of the Month. So first up, let's unbox that card kit so you can see what you get inside. This month's card kit is called Time Offline. So there's lots of outdoors elements and just other things that really reflect just spending some time offline. <laughs> so first up are the dyes. I love this little set of mushrooms, a flower, and that arch is so pretty. It's just a little thin frame in an arch shape. Here's the stamp set. Here's a camper. I love those. And those little trees are adorable and some great sentiments. Here's the six by six paper pad. You get everything from plaids, wood grains, stripes, clouds, uh, stars, just the works. And here are some blue sequins as well as some puffy stickers. I absolutely love these. They have some really great sentiments. You could even use this kit for a traveler's notebook if you do scrapbooking. These are puffy stickers and of course it comes with 10 cards and envelopes, some adhesives, and these are the chipboard stickers. You get two sheets of chipboard stickers. Love that little squirrel, the little mountain range. There's just a lot of options here and I really like that you are the brightest star in the sky and go your own way. I definitely use those. As far as cardstock, you get a light blue, a white, an orange, a red. My camera was getting a little funky so I had to put the chipboard stickers so you could see the colors and it wasn't getting all fuzzy. So there's two greens, a light green and a really dark green, a nice really dark blue and the gold mirror cardstock. If you've seen my Spellbinders kit club videos before, you know how much I love their die cuts. They have so many options. You get two of each image and there's just everything from flowers to cameras to a few sentiments to foxes. I love this perfect match. Isn't that so cute? Just so many different options. And the thing I love about die cuts is you can put them on foam adhesive or you can put them flat with tape runner or liquid adhesive. Now let's use the card kit to make a few cards. If you've seen my other card kit videos, you know I like to use the dies first so that you can see exactly what you can cut out with them and then make with them. So I've cut out each of the dies of cardstock that came in the kit. I like to stay within the universe of the kit so you can see what you can make just using the kit. And I love these little mushrooms. Their uh, Spellbinders layering dies are really great. They have great details and they make it really easy to make a detailed image because you're just die cutting. I am gonna add a little inking to this daisy, just a little bit of yellow ink, just the ink that was left on the brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing with some brown ink on the mushrooms that I cut out of white, just so that the little stalks of the mushrooms have that kind of tan look to them. And again, and it's so easy to layer those up. The large mushroom has a cap and the small mushroom has a cap as well. So I am gonna be using some liquid adhesive today because I have these tiny little bits. This is a flower center for the daisy. And again, it's a layered flower center. So you get two colors in that flower center and that is a bonus. The stem comes with a little circle on the end. That circle is for a spot of glue so that you can put the flower right on top. They do this a lot. Spellbinders does this a lot. Little tabs or little circles that indicate you can put the glue there and it just makes things a lot easier than trying to fit it on that thin strip that is the stem. Okay, for the mushroom caps, I'm just gonna avoid the little openings. Those allow that white to peek through or the tan, depending on if I got a little bit of inking on there. I cut down some white cardstock to much smaller than four by five and a quarter, which is what I usually use to mat because this is a smaller arrangement. I just cut out one flower, two of the leaves, 
and one frame, and I'm going to arrange them in kind of a cluster. I'm gonna use some kind of wonderful from the puffy stickers as my sentiment. Once I have an idea for my cluster, I'm gonna start adhering things down. I thought I could get away with tape runner, but even with everything put together, it's just a little bit easier on these delicate dies to use some liquid adhesive. So I'm gonna start with my flower stem and then build up from there. These two leaves in the samples that they have on Spellbinders, they have them in autumn colors. I decided to put them as kind of those base leaves. Sometimes daisies have smaller leaves at the top and then those thicker leaves at the bottom. So that's how I saw these. And then I'm going to pop up with the tiny little pop-up dots that come in the kit, the mushrooms right to cover the spots where those leaves connect the stem. Super easy to put together, but just such a sweet little arrangement. For this card, I am going to use a whole bunch of die cuts. As I said, I love the die cuts. I'm gonna put one small pop-up dot in the center of the wood slice, and that is going to allow me to layer the die cuts all around that wood slice. So first I just kind of get an idea. I start tucking things behind each other and I'm not adhering anything down. I just get a basic idea. And then I start pulling things back off the card. So that little stem had I had behind things. So I pulled that out first and adhered it down. And then I just kind of work my way around adding things on top. So if there's something that I really wanted sort of tucked behind, I'll adhere that first, like these little leaves and stem. So that goes in first and then everything else around it just kind of gets tucked on top. And this is just a really easy, quick way to create kind of a colorful wreath. I added a couple little extras, like a little mushroom, so cute. And then this little butterfly is going to be on the corner of the card. So all I really need is a sentiment and I got that puffy sticker that says, enjoy the things you love. Really, really great positive messages in this kit. Okay, for the next card, I am going to mat a piece of the star pattern paper down on light blue cardstock from the kit. And this time I did cut it to four by five and a quarter, so it just has that thin margin outline around the side. I'm going to add a sentiment. Using the chipboard stickers, I chose the one that I really liked at the beginning, you are the brightest star in the sky. And then I added the little mountain range at the bottom. And I looked at this and I thought, should I add something else? And then I thought, no. That's it, I love it just the way it is. All right, for this stamp set, I just wanted to share how well these guys stamp out and what you can do with them. So for the camper, I am going to stamp the camper and a sentiment in Gina K Amalgam ink because I'm going to do a little bit of Copic coloring on the camper and I want the camper black to match the sentiment black. So it just depends on what I'm doing. We'll decide what kind of black ink I'm using. Once I have everything stamped out in black, I am going to stamp the trees in some Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide ink. I think they look so cute like that. I would love to do a little rainbow of these trees, of course, but for now, we're just going with green. Okay, I'm gonna look for some pattern paper that will match what I am going with here, and I found that plaid. It is so cute. So I did cut this one down to a little bit smaller than four by five and a quarter. For the ink blending, I am going to do one little spot at a time. So I'm staying within those lines there because if you try to do all of it at once, the ink is gonna dry and then it doesn't blend as well. So if you have trouble blending out your Copic markers or other alcohol markers, you may be trying to do too much at once. I know we kind of want to get it done and you want to do all the same spots or same color at the same time. Unfortunately, it really is easier if you do one little spot at a time like this. So now I'm going to speed this up so that we can just talk about the rest of what's going on here. So the camper is going to be kind of a light blue color. And then for what I envision to be silver, I'm using some light grays. And for the grays, I'm using the neutral grays, zero and uh, two. So 
And then I just add a little bit of four for the darker door there. For the curtains, I just colored them in. I didn't do any blending. And for the window, I did just a B000 just to have a little hint of color there as well. And then I added that go your own way chipboard sticker and this card makes me so happy. Life is a journey, go your own way. Perfect. For this card, I'm gonna layer two pieces of pattern paper. I adore the pattern papers in this kit and I really wanted to showcase them here. So I cut down the wood grain pattern paper to, it's pretty small actually. It's definitely smaller than four by five and a quarter and layered it on that gorgeous floral background. I love those colors in that floral pattern paper. So the image I'm gonna use is the little squirrel on the stump. I used some smile sentiments, both puffy stickers and the white puffy sentiment stickers, and then added a little chipboard in the corner there. I just wanted everything next to each other so that you can see when you look at the card, there are all these little visual triangles. So the leaf, the acorn, and the daisy creates one. And then I added the hey you because I just thought that was really cute from the squirrel. Next up, let's check out the Spellbinders Die of the Month and use it to make a card. The Die of the Month is very unique this month. So the main die cuts out this image, which is leaves and bases for flowers. It's kind of the base of the whole design. And if you cut it out twice, you can create kind of a mirrored image on top and bottom of your card. So it fits on half an A2 card. If you wanted to, you could just use one and have it in the center of an A2 panel. I decided to create that mirrored image. So I cut out the base layer twice, and then I cut everything else out that I'm going to layer on top twice as well. Here's the large flower, cut two of those so that I can put one over here and then one on the other side. So everything is mirrored because I have both of these on one card. The large flower has several layers. You could use all of them. You could use just one of them. You could use none of them. Just use the base. But I am showing you all the different layers. There's a flower center. There's kind of an outline layer that I cut in orange. And there are also some little circles here that you can cut for the very center of the flower. So I cut a couple of those as well. So really there's lots of options here. Again, you don't have to use them all. You can use some, you can use none, just use the base flowers, whatever you want. I really love seeing all these bright pops of color on that really, really dark blue background. These are all cardstocks that came in the kit, including the mirror cardstock, which is gold. So this is another layer. I think you could probably put that little ring that you see in the upper right corner there on top of that and it would look cute as well. So I don't know, play around with those layers and see what you think looks best. I hadn't thought of that until after the fact. So you get what you get, I guess. And it still looks cute. Um, these little blues are, there's two of them on each flower base. So I had to cut more of those at the end of the card. There are these sort of bell-shaped flowers as well. And there are two dies that cut kind of the top of the flower. So I have one in lighter blue and then I've cut it out again in gold cardstock. It's actually one die cuts out two pieces. So I like when they do that because that little teeny tiny gold piece that you see there, I would lose that die in a heartbeat. So having it connected to another shaped die really helps me out. I can definitely see myself losing those little tiny dies if it weren't for that. Now, I probably should have cut the base of that flower out of a different color of cardstock didn't really have anything else that I really wanted to use here. So it is blue on blue, but you could definitely add a different color there and I think it would stand out even more. But again, I love those bright colors on the dark background and then matted on some gold mirror cardstock. This chipboard sticker I thought was perfect and it fit perfectly in the center and kind of rounded out the card. So it doesn't always have to be a stamped image to create your sentiment, especially with this card kit. A lot of times you can use a chipboard sticker. Now let's check out Spellbinder's Glimmer Kit of the Month and use that to make a card. 
The Glimmer Kit is pretty unique as well. So this is the foil plate and it foils a whole bunch of different flowers. And this on the right hand side is the matching die. So it cuts out all those one little pieces in one pass, including a sentiment. I'm using this foil today. I'm not sure exactly what foil comes in your glimmer kit, but it should be something gorgeous and will make these look really fantastic as well. Once my platform was heated up and my foil plate was heated up, I put that gold foil down, put some white cardstock on top, both my plates for this one, and when you pull it off, you can see how gorgeous all those pieces are. Are. And then check this out. The die cuts it all out in one pass. So I actually did this twice. I foiled twice and I die cut twice so that I had double the flowers and stems and things to work with. Now, you don't have to do that, but I was really excited about the mirrored look in the last card and I kind of wanted to do it again. So I wanted to have two of everything and choose what was going to go on the card front. I am again using that dark blue background. I've matted it on some gray pattern paper. And so you can see I'm, I'm doing this again. I'm trying to figure out exactly where everything's going to go, but I'm just going to do that symmetrical mirroring. So I'm just adhering most things down with some tape runner and then using some of those little foam pop-ups to pop some things up. So I had that position wrong before, but I fixed it when I actually adhered it down. That's the nice thing about not just going for it is just like laying everything down and then figuring out where it's gonna go. I also figured that this flower, I needed to cut the stem because I wanted it just peeking out from behind the other flower. So I just trimmed that stem down a little bit and that fit in there perfectly. I'm gonna pop up some small flowers at the base of those stems to kind of cover the end there. And and then I am going to adhere down some leaves. I put the stem of the leaf tucked under the flower and then added the sentiment at the bottom. I actually layered the sentiments on top of each other so they would have a little bit of dimension. And that was a super easy card to create once everything was foiled. I had so much fun with the latest Spellbinders Kit Clubs. I'd love to hear what your favorite was though. Let me know in the comments below. As always, I wanna thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. It's September 1st, it's not September 1st. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's not even October 1st. It's November 1st. Wow. This is going to be a long day. <laughs>